Jamaican music is known for its classic combinations between artists. Dennis Brown and Gregory Isaacs, Alton Ellis and John Holt. Another is Buju Bonton and Barris Hammond. Where would Buju be without Barris? And where would Barris be without Buju? Let's find out. Where would Buju Bonton be without Barris Hammond? Well, I don't know. I'd have locks with Barris Hammond and Buju Bonton too. Because both of us have a chemistry. There's not one without the other, you know? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it doesn't, it's not a, it's not a one way, one way street. Burst someone, I love him so much because the guy is born the 28th of this month, just like my first son, you know? Mm-hmm. And that makes him special to me. And the music is always great. I think he's one of the greatest writers I've ever buck up on in my time. I'm only 27, he's 50 years old. Yeah. How is he really? Yeah. And um, he's like a father to me, you know, in terms of music and the way we live, you know? Yeah. The combination you guys have come up with, um, is, is there something magical going on when you guys get together? Magic? Yeah. I don't need magic. No. Magic belongs to Marilyn. And it's I do the mean that spirituality of the music. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. The spirituality cannot be denied. Mm-hmm. And the spiritual genes where we both have mm-hmm. them intertwined. Once you go around that mic. What more can I say? The music speaks for itself. Yeah. Now that you now that you really know and have been able to digest the fact that you guys have this combination that really works, what are your how have your plans changing for the future in terms of what you do together? Well, currently we're working on our combination album now, you know, which we don't want to release any songs off this one. We just want to just want to come to the street and taint it. Thirteen songs, very someone on Bojo Street. Oh wow. Have you already started with that, right? Yeah, we started. Dana Van German is in Jamaica right now, doing some works. We have more tracks to record anyway, so. Where would Barris be without Buju? Buju, Buju, I can tell you straight up, when it comes to doing combinations, there is a magic between me and that young man. Mm-hmm. We, have, we have really a wonderful little thing there going where people, tend to love all the time. I love it. Mm-hmm. Buju love it. But Buju is Buju. He's doing his wonderful work. Beres is Beres. Mm-hmm. Doing my wonderful work. If and when we get together, it's even more beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I don't know. Um, Buju feed off Beres for, for whatever little works we do. Mm-hmm. He feeds off me and I in turn feed off him within his market also, mm-hmm. you know, so it's really kind of a, a, a two-sided thing, mm-hmm. you know, where, where, where both of us sort of achieve nicely mm-hmm. and we, we sort of end up with the same kind of audience, meaning a bigger audience, mm-hmm. but a nice mixture, mm-hmm. you know, because of them combinations. I asked Butcher the same question. Yeah. And he said, he, I, and I told him it was a loaded question, which it is, obviously. Yeah. He said, where would Barris be without a Buju? <laughs> <laughs> In a much deeper voice. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know how I'm going to answer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, he, had, he, had, he had essentially the same answer as you. Yeah, but it's, it's just that combination. It's like the magic happens. It's magic. Tell me about Husay. Husay really continued for a long time and had a real it, lasting quality. He, I, I don't know, but every time, well, how combination goes is the singer sings first. And um, then the DJ will take it a little further mm-hmm. based on what you're saying. Now, why I love working in the studio and making them songs at Buja is because he always tend to understand understand me down to the T exactly what I'm trying to say. And he brings it out a little bit more quick too. Yeah, he understand it fast and you know, and, and, and he says just about the right things that I would have wanted him to say. Mm-hmm. And lots of occasion I'm not even there. Mm-hmm. But when I hear when I hear, you know, afterwards what he did with that, 
then I don't need to question it. Mm -hmm. He says everything that I would anticipate him to say. Mm. Yeah, and, and to me, them things don't come too often because I've worked with quite a few other people and it's, it's not really the same. It's not really, I can't leave Buja alone. And Buja can also DJ, I think, leave it on tape and I listen to it and I put melodies around it saying, mm. yeah. <laughs> do you have a, you have many singles you have many songs with Buju that we probably not have heard but right mm -hmm. mm. and presently too you know what we're doing we're 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 actually half or three quarter ways down into an album with he and myself mm. yeah where we just do a combination album mm -hmm. so that's before we left to come on the tour before I left to come on the tour we were actually doing a couple of tracks for that, too. If you love Jamaican music, you better be tuning in to Jamaica 809 on YouTube. Also, check out reggaejamaicaway.com, full of reggae music.